Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today I want to talk briefly about prepping for the upcoming season uh, and what I'm doing to uh, prep. One of the things I'm doing is I'm going through my old client list of 2020 and writing down how much I charge them for each cut and thinking about that lawn again and figuring out if I need to increase their price, keep it the same, drop their price or cut them off as a client completely. Um, you know, and some of you might be like, whoa, like, you're gonna get rid of clients, like, what are you thinking, right? Um, a lot of these millionaire mentor groups that I'm talking about, uh, you know, in my videos, they all talk about uh, dropping your five or your bottom 10% uh, to allow new growth for your top end. And I agree with that because, you know, not all your lawns are the same, you know, profit margins. You know, some take you a little longer, some take you a little less, some take her, you know, they're more outside of your way, whatnot. So, you know, like let's say hypothetically you want to make $50 an hour cutting grass and you've got a couple clients that, you know, let's say one is 20 minutes outside of the way. Uh, you know, it's a 20 minute cut and it's 20 minutes back, right? So that's an hour out of your time, but you're only charging them $25 because that 20 minute cut, you can't really charge much more than that. So you're only charging them $25, which is half of what you, you know, you, you've decided what you want to make. So there's nothing, you know, uh, wrong with that client. You know, they shouldn't be paying more than $25 for their cut because it's only a 20 minute cut, but maybe it's somebody else's client now because for you to do it, it's an hour out of your day and you've already decided you want to make $50 an hour cutting grass. So that client, I would drop um, for that reason only, you know, not that they're a bad person, you know, they're probably super sweet and give you cookies every time you show up and whatnot. But at the end of the day, this is a business and, you know, business about making money, that client is not as profitable for you to do. Um, so I would, I would give that client up. And I have a few of those that I'm gonna be giving up this year. Um, just because they're not as profitable as I need them to be. And I don't feel right about jacking up their price to the point that it would make it worth it for me. So I, I need to just drop them. And like whenever I drop a client, I always try and fig figure out a solution for them as well. Like a lot of the times if I drop them, I'd be like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to service your lawn anymore. Um, you know, my business is, is changing, um, but good news, I do have somebody that is willing to cut your grass for the same price, and I can vouch that they do good work. Um, you know, that's, that's always important. You don't want to get the rap of, you know, oh, this person just drops people and leaves them stranded, right? Because at the end of the day, like, yeah, it's a business, but it's also like a relationship you know, salesman relationship type of thing too, where, you know, bad sales travel fast, right? So you want to have a good reputation with all of your clients. So if you are going to drop anybody, drop them in a nice way and see if you can find somebody for them before you even drop them. And then you can, you know, relay that information say, yep, I've got somebody for you. Here's their phone number if you would like to proceed service with them. Um, but that's pretty much the only reason I've really ever dropped somebody is to just because of profit margins and location. Um, another thing I'm doing to prep for 2021 is, uh, is I'm, I'm really looking at, you know, where do I want to hit, uh, you know, with my business hard, like, like geographically, um, and what type of client am I looking for? You know, do I need gated backyards? Do I not want gated backyards? You know, do I want, you know, hilly lawns that nobody else really wants to do? You know, what, what not? Um, so one of the things I'm doing is I have done the math and I am more profitable mowing with my zero turn. So I would like to get non-gated backyards but on the flip side of that coin, I am also not limiting myself to only non-gated backyards. A lot of the guys do, you know, I'm not quite at that point yet in my business. 
Uh, this is my first like real year into this. Well, 2020 was. This is my second year, I guess. Uh, I've been doing it for five years now, but this is like my, this is my first, you know, full year completed. So I'm not at the point where I can just pick and choose and whatnot. But, you know, you also gotta make a profit too, right? Either way, I wanted to keep that video short, so leave me a note, you know, a little comment in the section below. Let me know what you guys are doing to prep for 2021. And, uh, you know, some of the guys, you know, in the States, or I know I have a couple followers in Australia and stuff where, you know, you don't have the time off in winter to be able to prep. So let me know what strategies you guys are using to be able to prep with, you know, still, uh, shoveling snow and plowing snow and stuff but either way let me know and i hope you guys are doing well we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon